everyone, Pam here from Creative Homescaping. Today I'm going to be participating in a collab hosted by Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis. The name of the challenge is the Outdoor Entertaining and Living Collab for 2018. Kimberly's asked us to show our outdoor living space and how we plan to entertain in it during the summertime. Now my weather's been a little bit misty here, even though I'm in California, we get something called May Gray. And so I'm not going to be able to show you my exact setup with all my outdoor dishes and everything set up how I'm going to use them. But I will show you my outdoor spaces and maybe put my dishes inside so you can see them. So stay tuned. Even though I don't actually entertain in this space, I thought I would show you my side yard because there are items here that I do use in entertaining. Let's start with this fountain. The fountain provides a nice ambient sound when you are in the backyard entertaining. It also provides a nice focal point when you're in the kitchen. This is the kitchen window where the sink is. And when I used to do dishes, I would stare at a blank slump block wall. Now I get to stare at the fountain. Also in my side yard are some kitchen type plants. I have rosemary and sage, as well as some citrus trees. Here you can see our rosemary bushes have gotten quite large. We did prune them recently, but they still need a little bit more pruning. And then here is the sage. And those pots hanging on the wall are often used to grow other types of herbs. This tree is our mandarin orange tree. And then this tree is our navel orange tree. The mandarin orange doesn't have any fruit on it yet, but as you can see, we're starting to get navel oranges. And here's a look at the sage on this side, which is starting to bloom with these pretty purple buds. Continuing along the side wall here, we come to our Meyer lemon tree, which I've showed in a number of my videos. And I do use the lemons on that tree for cooking as well as making lemonade and home decor. And this is a key lime tree. And it does have a couple key limes on it, but it doesn't hasn't produced much fruit recently. And now here's a look at the main entertaining space in our yard. You can see from the ground that it has been kind of drizzly, which is one reason we have a tablecloth on the main table that we use when we're eating. Those are the last of the lemons from our Meyer lemon tree. I did show this table in my backyard refresh video, which I will link down below and above. And we have these paper patio stones that make up most of the patio area. And then here's our barbecue, which we are planning to use this weekend for Memorial Day barbecue. And this is our raised entertaining area. These chairs we typically set out in groups of two or three to create little conversation areas for our guests. We have them stacked up right now so that they stay mostly cleaned since we ju did just clean our furniture this weekend. As you can see, we have a number of umbrellas and we have them tipped to the side so that when it stops drizzling, they will dry off. And over here, we have some baskets that have croquet mallets and balls and gates, as well as some bocce balls. And now I'm taking you over to the other side yard. You'll see most of our landscaping are drought tolerant type of plants. And here is our other side yard. We access it via that stepping stone. And as you can see, we do have a bocce ball court on the side 
that people can use when we're having parties if they want to play games. And there's a little bench there so people can watch as others play. I really like entertaining in our backyard because of the view we have. This is one of the main reasons we bought this house. It looks out over a small canyon ravine that contains a regional park. And we put this raised patio area here when we redid the backyard so that we could have an area for a fire pit, but also to give us a better view onto the canyon and the main valley. And here is the view from that raised patio. Because it's a park, we get lots of wildlife. There are red-tailed hawks, we have swallows, we have kestrels, we have kites. Those are all birds. We have other birds as well. And then I'm going to show you a close-up here in a second. In the park below us, there is a lake. It's the area between that golden hillside and that road where those cars are driving. And on the 4th of July, the park sets off fireworks. So we can sit in our backyard and watch them shoot off the fireworks there. We can also see fireworks shows from other areas as well. Sometimes we've seen as many as seven or eight. The other wildlife we've gotten in our yard have been coyotes. We had a bobcat once and even a little weasel. There are also skunks and possums that quite frequently come around. And here's one more look from the other side at our main entertaining space. Again, I apologize for it not being in its final state, but because of the rain, which you're seeing on this little table that we use as extra dining seating, I wasn't able to put out all of my items that I normally would have. And here's one final overall look at our space. I will show another video where it's all decorated for Memorial Day. So I did want to give you one shot of the dishes we are going to use outside. These are melamine dishes and I got them from Sur la Table on super clearance one year, but they're very thick melamine. There you can see the to the table emblem and they are a French country style and they go very well with our home. And this is the uh, salad or dessert plate. And then this is the dinner plate. And we have these little dipping bowls also. And then a, it can be a salad bowl or a cereal bowl. And then I have a lot of serving pieces too. I have some trays. And then these bowls are very nice. They actually have lids on them so you can prep stuff ahead of time, put the lids on. You can also put the lids over them when they're outside and they're all very nice. And as I said, I did get this several years ago on really good clearance. I think these little dishes were less than a dollar and the bowls were maybe two or three dollars. And you know, the plates, maybe these were like three or four dollars and these were four or five dollars. I don't remember the exact price, but it was in the fall after summer was over and we just happened to see all of them on this super, super clearance. I think they were like 75 percent off. So I will be setting up the main dining table and depending on the number of people we end up having, I may use that small round table you saw in the video to seat some extra people and maybe I will s set a separate video for another tablescape since we do use the dishes for all of our entertaining during the summer and then I'll show it in one of my tablescape Tuesdays. I hope you enjoyed seeing my outdoor spaces. I really appreciate Kimberly hosting this challenge 
And please check the box down below because I will put a link to the playlist as well as to her channel. And I hope you'll check both of them out because I'm sure her space will be wonderful as well as the others who are participating in this collab. Thanks for tuning in today. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up so I know, and also leave a comment down below on what you like best about what I showed you and what other types of videos and spaces in my home you might like to see. Thanks again. Take care.